open sesame. Oh, hello guys, I didn't see you there. Just finishing off some paperwork and packing for my leave. But as I've got your attention to another video on Medal of Honor above and beyond, the developers have ushered in the third Reich, sorry, ushered in a third patch with a further improvement. So we'll go over that today. Now you've seen the little Easter eggs we can do in the OSS office. Let's head down and see the quartermaster again so we can show off some of these changes now the first thing i want to point out is the performance is far far better they've changed the minimum spec for the game to be a 1080 graphics card and my 980 ti is just ever so slightly shy of that i have the steam version and they've also added in the option to load into the oculus sdk rather than steam vr i'm definitely noticing better performance i don't think that's just down to the oculus sdk i'm sure there's other performance optimizations in the background as well so let's head into the options i've done a video on the second patch we don't need to reiterate all of the options that were added in we'll just go over what's new so cuff visibility we can turn that off we can hide our body as well nice little touch what's really interesting is what they've done with the scopes now so we can see we've got two types to choose from as well as adjusting the resolution to try and help with performance so let's grab ourselves a rifle off the rack we get ourselves some ammo for it now it's nice that it had the scope saints and sinners had a bolt action rifle but no scope but the way it's implemented in medal of honor above and beyond wasn't great as i bring it up to my face you see everything's blacked out now it's expecting me to be looking straight down the side so they've made some slight changes to how this is done but it's still not ideal as i fire i want to work the bolt but it's very easy to get it too close to your face and lose what you're trying to shoot at so let's let's head back into options and see what happens when we set it to realistic so I'll grab the rifle again it's not blacking out the sleeve is disappearing not to block the sights this is all good as we look down the scope we see the image on our dominant hands we've got a button to adjust the zoom so now the scope is operating exactly how people want it to they're world war ii optics so we're not going to get ballistic drop compensation and mill dots, stuff like that. But yeah, absolutely awesome what they've done with the scope. The other thing to point out with the M1918, the BAR rifle, if we click that same button for the zoom, we've now got an alternate rate of fire. So we've got the slow rate of fire. If you want to do walking fire, what the gun was designed for. Love the animations in this game. So let's pop the magazine out. We'll switch the mode. We've now got a high rate of fire. The gun did have that. It is authentic. They have modeled the guns incredibly well. So all it is really lacking now is that crouch button for seated VR. As we can see, I can deploy the bipod, but for me to look down the sights, it for me to get down onto the sights in CTVR is practically impossible. Yes, ideally we want to play at room scale, standing up and crouch and lean. But if they would just add in that crouch button, I'd be more than happy to recommend the game now. So at, at £45, that's the top end you can ask really for a VR title. I'd be happier to see it around the £30 mark. Uh, but there's a lot of content there. So you've got your campaign, which is six missions. You've got your multiplayer and we should point out if you do quick match now it will go through all of the modes and all of the maps randomly and yeah we've got the survival mode which i really enjoy as well so i've already put i don't know 26 27 hours into this game far more than i did with half-life alex i played that twice 
22 hours and I've, I've never touched it again. So I can see me putting a lot of time into this game. I do need to finish the campaign off. That's going to give us more and more stuff in the quartermasters, quartermasters area. So we can do a video all about all of the weapons. I think some people would like to see that. So I don't think there's anything else to cover in the options. Quite excited about this update, really. Uh, so we'll leave it there, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.